This video will have spoilers for Trails of Cold Steel 4, just to let you know. Hey, it's Leo. We are like 23 subscribers away from 1,000. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, because if you have not, I will personally trim all of your toenails. Do not ask why. What kills the tension in this game is the fact that hardly anyone dies, and this dissipates the pressure you would normally find when two countries are at war. The setting of Trails of Cold Steel 4 is Erebonia being on the verge of waging war on Calvert. This game feels like a ping pong match. Ping pong matches can go hard at times, but they're still just playing on a dressed up lunch table, bro. In Cold Steel 4, there are wonderful moments, like especially with Yuna. She peaks in this game. When she went off on Campanella, I was speechless. I could do with a little fun, especially after I'd let Lady Bell have the SSS and the bracers last time. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! I've known this since we met at Orcus Tower, but you? You're the worst! None of this involves you, and you still choose to make things worse for everyone with that crappy little grin on your face! Damn! But when the writers can't kill off a single character out of the massive cast Trails games have, it feels ludicrous. There's no sense of danger. Straight up, I don't like how everything in this game has to be so happy. Let's start throwing out examples, right? The Emperor of Erebonia is shot, so the Erebonians use this as a catalyst to invade Calvert, blaming them. That man should have gone night-night. Instead, they're on some, he's just in fatal condition. No! Y'all know how World War I started the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. I don't see the point of having this man be bedridden the whole game. Just off him. Give that sense of seriousness, not to mention no one would miss this dude. He would be a solid plot device. Trails takes the phrase, you can't have your cake and eat it too, and throws that shit out of the window. They can't write off a single person. It's why the game feels anticlimactic at times. It took me 107 hours to feel like stuff was finally getting significant because they offed one of the baddest females in the Trails series. I was salty, but I was like, damn, this is a good plot twist. The power of friendship doesn't always prevail, but the Steel Maiden's death feels like a slight cop-out. She was an immortal who already lived far past her time. Rufus deadass called her an old hag. Besides, the great war of this era is about to begin. Old legends from bygone days have no place here. No! You make me sick. How could you?! The audacity on this guy, killing a blonde this fine with 250 years of experience is crazy! He didn't see the bigger picture. And by the way, no, I did not forget about the Jaeger King, I, I just don't care. In Cold Steel 4, there was so much interesting drama that could have happened if they had just killed one normal person in the plot. Like, if Victor died when George blew up the Courageous, imagine the tension between him and Laura when George finally comes to his damn senses. That dude finna catch the toughest Radiant Phoenix Blade ever seen. It's over. Now, don't even get me started on this corn ball mask. I hated this thing. Angelica, presumed dead, comes back with this mask. Crow, the same thing. They even hit Victor with this goofy thing. Let these people rest in peace. And Crow has got to be the worst offender. That man already cheated death from becoming an immortal like Leanne. Then he escapes death in the rivalry with Reen. What is the point of hyping up this battle so much, saying stuff like, the loser will be absorbed by the winner, etc., just for the power of friendship to disregard all that shit? When Reen was able to reverse the flow of energy for Crow to leave him with some to live, I was disgusted. What is this writing? Okay, rant over. I wanted to talk about where I'm currently at in the game and give my thoughts. As of recording this, I'm currently on the finale, nearing the final rivalry battles with Rufus, Gilead, and Cedric. I will say, even though there is some questionable writing decisions, this is a fun game, a bit drawn out, to be sure, but the Trails combat is always a gem, and the characters shine. Duvali especially, I think this was the first game she's playable. I'm normally not the biggest fan of Sundere's, but she's too funny. She's an actual comedian. Everything she does is too corny. They should have made her a romance option, not gonna lie. 
Like with Cold Steel 3, Laura is still my favorite girl in Cold Steel 4. She is so forward, like so many girls will confess normally to Reen in this game. But Laura is out here forcing a kiss and is like, you know how I feel, homie. Then gets bashful afterwards. Peak, man. It doesn't get better than this. All in all, I like Trails of Cold Steel 4, but as the last game in the Cold Steel line, its writing definitely does not live up to the finale that was Azure. Like, no one dies in Azure, but the way it's written, you feel the gravity of the situation that they're in is significant. Characters are not constantly being resurrected or brought back, etc. I'll be diving into River Ray soon though, let's get it. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, join the Discord server, consider supporting me on PayPal, all of that stuff is in the description, and uh, later.